Hope Evolves. We're here today to basically talk about the Hope Street's legacy and also kind of how now it's come to an end, reflecting back on it and how it's benefited a lot of the young producers such as myself. My name is Mariana McNee. I directed Culture of Freedom. I currently study media and journalism at Northumbria. So what I did today, I premiered my film for the first time. I felt a range of emotions and when Naomi next to me was kind of like tearing up, I started a little bit. You know, it felt very emotional. I knew I filmed that when I was 19, during when COVID was happening and it was before I went to university. It was really weird to see a different version of myself from back then. It was pretty emotional to actually look back on it and, you know, share that with people for the first time. It's really exciting to see how everyone's different projects have come together because there's been so many different strands. It's nice to just kind of have all these different things going on in one place and you know, have people free to explore different parts of Hope Streets and find out what it meant to everyone. I am running a kind of pop-up session about using TikTok to kind of engage young people with heritage and kind of museums and art institutions. It's just something that I am really interested in talking about and exploring. I feel like it could be, or it should be, a really like useful tool for museums to use. Um, I think it can make the concept of heritage a lot more relatable to young people. So I have been on the Hope Streets project since its conception. I've been on it for five years now. I don't know what I haven't done. I started off working with Frog and Bird and interviewing for them, which was a lovely opportunity to have. I say thank you to Hope Streets for giving me the opportunity. Also, I wanted people to take the time to reflect on and understand what hope means to them. We don't seem to do that much or often or ever really. And it's a safe space to just be creative and have some time to think and bounce ideas. I'm here to do one of the drop-in sessions um, from what we've learned over the past five years at Lancashire Museums. I've been talking to lots of people um, all interested in youth engagement and kind of how we're evolving after Hope Streets as well. It's giving us a much more youth focused identity and it's just got young people in the buildings which has been absolutely fabulous. Yeah, we've now got a much more diverse, younger workforce. We've introduced apprenticeships, alternative Saturday jobs. So our team is thriving from it um, and we can't wait to do even more. So my presentation was to try and recreate that feeling that many young people feel in our heritage sites and our museums where it's not really for them, there's nothing there that speaks to them, they're a bit confused, they're a bit angry, um, they kind of feel like they're not supposed to be there. I wanted everyone to be able to understand that feeling so I didn't feel alone in it. Like, this is what young people feel. We walk into a museum, there's nobody that looks like us, nobody that sounds like us, and we just feel like we don't belong there. So the rest of the presentation is really focusing on how we can fix that feeling and make sure it's not in our sector anymore. But also how that then falls into heritage. And we look at that idea of heritage is our identity. It hit home that with youth-led change in the heritage sector, what we're doing is we're giving people that sense of belonging. You know, we need to be able to provide that safe space and we need people to realise that they're perfectly 100% okay to be as they are and who they want to be.